in Dharmshala with Roshi Joan Halifax. Morning, Roshi. Good morning, Rob. How are you? Excellent. So nice to see you. Thank you. Can you tell us a little about how the uh, Mind and Life 18 conference has been for you so far? It's been great. I think uh, David did a fascinating job comparing meditation with multitasking. I have a lot of questions myself, uh, and I look forward to sitting down with him. But I think His Holiness was very interested, as were the Geshe's, in his perspective, which is a kind of mapping of how uh, practitioners process their experience in, in multiple dimensions. And then uh, Alan gave an extraordinary overview of shamatha, very familiar to His Holiness, I'm sure but uh, edifying for uh, particularly, I think, the, the other scientists who are not familiar with meditation. And there was a very active uh, Q&A period between the scientists and the, the Geshe's. And one thing I'm really happy about, I'd asked His Holiness last year to kindly uh, include nuns uh, among the monastics in this year's meeting. And um, then when we had our private meeting with him, the board had their private meeting with him, uh, a few days ago, I again asked, and I was, I'm happy to report that there are not only uh, women monastics in the group, but also lay women, uh, uh, Tibetans, who are uh, part of the meeting. So this, I think, is, you know, some of the issues around gender that have been typical for uh, our institute over the years, because science is dominated, particularly neuroscience, by men. <laughs> and, um, you know, uh, the Tibetan teachers are primarily male who uh, come into our circle, and other contemplatives primarily male. We're beginning to bring about gender balance. Very important. So uh, on to our next day. On to our next day. Great to Thank see you. you. Thank you so much. Can we do one more soundbite? I have one more question for you. Oh. Yep. All right. We're going to have to edit this. Sorry, I'm just going to let it roll, and then we can cut it into two. <laughs> okay. 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 You spoke yesterday, Roshi Joan, of, of receptive sort of state of of awareness. Yeah. Could you maybe just comment on that? And yeah. What, what that is to you? Uh, receptive practice, receptive meditation practice, and Zen we call it shikantaza. It is when the uh, attentional base is not narrow. In fact, it's uh, very broad. We could call that panoramic. It's reflective. Um, it's bottom up. And um, that is the classical form that we use in Zen med meditation, which is basically a reflective or receptive or bottom-up style of practice. I'm talking with Jim Austin about it. He made a, a really interesting observation that you can't actually voluntarily go into this receptive state of meditation, um, that it is an involuntary or bottom-up process. Mm, that's great. Thank you yeah. so much. Thank you now. Maraj, Keech.